Welcome to the ultimate showdown of Apple's powerhouse devices, the Mac Studio M2 Ultra, Mac Studio M2 Max, and the latest MacBook Pro M4 Max. If you're trying to figure out which one is the best buy in 2024, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll dive deep into each model's strengths, comparing their performance, portability, and value. Make sure to watch till the end where I'll reveal the overall winner for the best choice this year. Don't forget to check the purchase links in the description and give this video a like, it helps me out a ton. Let's get started. Apple has continued its tradition of pushing creative computing boundaries with the M2 Ultra chip, powering both the Mac Studio and Mac Pro. The Mac Studio is in many ways an ideal powerhouse for photographers and videographers, delivering unparalleled speed without compromising on size, noise, or energy efficiency. Externally, the M2 Ultra Max Studio looks identical to the M1 Ultra with its compact 3.7-inch height and 7.7-inch square footprint. Internally, however, the M2 Ultra packs notable upgrades, including HDMI 2.1 support, enabling 8K video output and high refresh rates, as well as ultra-fast SSD performance in the 8TB model. Performance-wise, the M2 Ultra is exceptional across multiple creative applications. In Lightroom Classic, the Mac Studio breezes through imports, edits, and exports, handling large files in record time. The updated 24-core CPU and 76-core GPU combined with 192GB of RAM power this fluid experience. With Adobe Premiere Pro, the Mac Studio also stands out, especially for video exports, where it outperforms previous models and most competitive PCs without a hint of fan noise. While Photoshop performance isn't vastly different from previous Mac Studio generations, it's still at a high level. For those whose work primarily involves Photoshop, a lower-end Mac model may be more economical. However, video editors or Lightroom users will benefit from the M2 Ultra's gains in speed and efficiency. Despite the lack of internal upgrade options, the M2 Ultra Mac Studio is built for longevity and consistency. Creative professionals who require PCIe expansion might consider the pricier Mac Pro, but for most users, the Studio will be the better, more compact choice. Alternatives, like the M2 Max Mac Studio or Intel's NUC Extreme, offer impressive performance too, though often with trade-offs in noise or size. The M2 Ultra Max Studio may not be cheap, but for professionals who value uncompromising performance in a silent small footprint, it represents an outstanding investment in creative capability. The Mac Studio with the M2 Max chip is a powerhouse desktop designed for high-performance tasks. Its compact form factor doesn't compromise on capability with advanced processing power, quiet fan operation, and versatile port options. The latest HDMI upgrade, now with support for 8K at 60Hz and 4K at 240Hz, resolves limitations from previous models, making it better suited for high-resolution displays and variable refresh rates. The 12-core CPU in the M2 Max, with 8 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, delivers up to 25% faster performance than its predecessor, the M1 Max. Benchmarks like Geekbench and Cinebench demonstrate the M2 Max's capabilities, showing strong improvements, especially in GPU-intensive tasks. Cinebench's 3D rendering tests highlight that the M2 Max has a notable edge, particularly for creative professionals. The 38-core GPU upgrade in this model delivers more than 21% speed improvements over the M1 Max, showcasing its value in graphics processing and applications like video editing, 3D modeling, and even gaming. Apple's Metal FX upscaling technology also boosts game performance on the Mac Studio, as tested with Resident Evil Village, which achieved impressive frame rate increases. With Metal FX upscaling enabled, frame rates in the game went up significantly, demonstrating the M2 Max's gaming potential, a rare strong suit for a Mac. Apple's continued focus on expanding the Mac's gaming ecosystem could see more software optimized for this hardware in the future. On the connectivity front, the Mac Studio's front ports offer convenient access to USB-C and SDXC, while the rear provides four Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB-A ports, a 10GB Ethernet, and enhanced HDMI. The new model also includes support for Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, ensuring smooth and fast wireless connectivity. For professionals handling video work, the Mac Studio's dual ProRes engines in the M2 Max model accelerate media encoding, while other upgrades like enhanced headphone jack support are geared towards high-fidelity audio workflows. Those with CPU-centric workloads might consider the similarly capable M2 Pro Mac Mini, 
but users with high GPU demands will benefit from the Mac Studio's expanded graphics core options. In short, the Mac Studio remains a top choice for creatives and professionals who require robust performance, versatility, and advanced display support, all in a compact desktop that's quiet and optimized for demanding applications. Apple's MacBook Pro with the M4 Max chip marks another step in the steady evolution of Apple's M series, delivering notable performance gains, particularly for video editing tasks. The M4 Max outpaces not only last year's M3 Max, but even surpasses the M2 Ultra in certain benchmarks, establishing itself as one of the most powerful portable options for creative professionals. The M4 Max 16-inch MacBook Pro, featuring a 16-core CPU, 40-core GPU, 128 GB of unified memory, and 2 TB SSD, performed exceptionally, coming close to desktop-level power in a portable package. Apple has retained its established design, with this year's MacBook Pro nearly identical to previous models. The new nano texture display option significantly reduces glare, making outdoor or bright indoor use much easier on the eyes. The Liquid Retina XDR display also now reaches 1000 nits for SDR content, which is brighter than before, while HDR peaks at 1600 nits. The 2024 MacBook Pro remains a fingerprint magnet a minor but notable downside in its sleek space black design. For ports, the laptop includes Thunderbolt 5, a first for Apple, allowing support for two external 6K displays or one 6K and one 4K display. Thunderbolt 5 also expands compatibility with Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, and USB 4. Battery life remains impressive, reaching up to 24 hours for video streaming on the 16-inch model with high-efficiency settings for conserving power during intensive tasks. The real appeal of the M4 Max is in its performance. In benchmarks with Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve, the M4 Max consistently excelled handling complex tasks with ease. The high power mode, designed for intensive graphic workloads, lets users tap into even higher performance levels, especially useful for video editors and photographers managing demanding software. In Photoshop, the M4 Max outperformed other systems, and in video exports and GPU effects, it closely rivaled high-end desktop PCs. Ultimately, the M4 Max MacBook Pro stands as an incredibly capable machine for professionals, achieving desktop-like performance in a laptop form factor that's portable and versatile. For users needing top-tier performance and often working in varied lighting conditions, this year's MacBook Pro proves itself a standout choice, well suited to today's intensive workflows. After breaking down each powerhouse, here's the bottom line. The Mac Studio M2 Ultra is ideal for professionals who need top-end desktop performance and don't require portability, offering unparalleled power in a compact design. The Mac Studio M2 Max brings high performance at a slightly lower cost, making it a great choice for demanding work with a bit more budget flexibility. But if you want desktop-level power in a portable form, the MacBook Pro M4 Max is unbeatable combining high performance, excellent battery life, and mobility for creators on the move. The overall winner is the MacBook Pro M4 Max for delivering exceptional power, versatility, and portability all in one package.